On top of one of Fort St. John's tallest buildings, local photographer Darcy Shawcheck is ready to capture a rare sight. For the first time since 1979, a total solar eclipse where the moon completely covers the sun was seen by many across North America. I've been taking shots of, of uh, overlooking the city, uh, using the city as a backdrop and, uh, and uh, compiling what's called a multiple exposure. So you can see the, uh, the actual timeline, the physical timeline of the solar eclipse happening. As the sun moves across the sky, you'll see the moon getting closer and closer to the center of the uh, sun and then getting further away as the timeline expands. Up here in the north, viewers were treated to a partial solar eclipse. It's a photo Shaw check has always dreamed to capture. Uh, the filter I have on my camera, I created it myself. It is a uh, stacked filter of a red, blue and green uh, filter. And uh, what that does is it, it, it uh, pulls out any haze. I'm using a very high f-stop. I'm at f28 I do believe uh, and what that is if you don't know it's uh, almost like your iris on your eye. Uh, when you look at the sun the iris on your eye gets very very small uh, to let in uh, less light. Shawcheck's interest in photography began in his early 20s when he bought a used camera to capture a lightning storm. For years after that, I uh, run around with a small little digital point and shoot camera, uh, propping it up on tree branches, propping it up on rocks and stuff, and getting images of waterfalls and uh, yeah, just, just kind of evolved from that. Now Shawcheck is a well-known wedding and event photographer in town. Around six years ago, he started the Facebook group Peace Photographer Adventure Club, which now has around 600 members. He says many actively meet after dark to capture the northern lights. We, we, we have a very unique opportunity to, to experience these auroras. They, uh, uh, just, just last week, the sky lit up like, like a nuclear explosion. It was everywhere, in front of me, behind me, there was... It looked like sprites in the air. Shawcheck says he's always been looking towards the skies for his inspiration. Brendan Miller, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.